Hello fellow indie gamers, this is me, Indie Games R Us, and I just want to tell you this is an incredibly long episode of Sucks or Bucks. Uh, it's our first episode, and I thought I would be able to edit it down, but really, so you guys can get the full experience, I can't do, the, do that with this, because this is a demo. Normally with games, um, they're already full out, so I'll play like half an hour, and then you guys can see all the mechanics by then. But with this game, it took a while. And so it, the video actually became an hour and a half long. Uh, and a lot of that is me just trying to figure out one small thing. So I am going to be splitting the video up into three parts. This is going to be at the beginning of each part just to inform everybody. Uh, if you're viewing the first part, uh, the next parts will be up soon. If you are viewing one of the uh, later parts, second or three, they'll each, there will be three half an hour long videos because that's what I want these to normally be at. Uh, basically, if you're watching the last episode, there may be a lot of stuff you may want to skip. Either this, the end of the second or the beginning of the third, there's going to be me just going in and out of a door trying to trying to keep asking the merchant to see if she has the ruby that we're looking for. And I just couldn't find it, but eventually I did find it in a chest. I don't even. I think I might have just been lucky, or maybe it was supposed to be in here, but I, I did end up finding it, guys. So just if you want to skip parts of the video, obviously you can do that. That's your what you deserve and I think with about it's about 10 minutes left in the video is when I start actually giving the actual review of it so make sure you can skip to that if you want but I recommend watching the whole video if you're seriously considering buying this game uh, obviously I don't want to upload an hour and a half long video nobody's gonna watch all that so that's why I'm splitting it up into three parts I hope that isn't too tough on you guys it, it's the best for me and I think it's the best for you so uh, thank you guys for listening to this intro again and uh, yeah here's the video Hello fellow indie gamers and welcome to the first episode of Sucks or Bucks. This is where I showcase lesser known indie games and tell you whether they suck or whether they are worth your money. Uh, this is one that was recommended to me, actually it was one of the creators from uh, the, the studio that make this is an independent studio, their name is WRF Studios, that is also their YouTube channel. I will show you the message he sent me, I will either like put it on the screen here or send a guy as in the description. You guys can click on that, take a take a little gander at it, and it intrigued me that he messaged me and he's apparently trying to get this out to YouTubers because he realizes how big that YouTubers can make games. Uh, this is like a kind of an RPG action game. I looked at it, it's kind of like Morrowind, but obviously it's independent and it's like this the vampire hunter. It's kind of I don't know, it's it's like Di 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 Diablo, I guess. It's a little bit like it kind of looks like I, I don't know it looks interesting this is just the demo though uh, the full game is not out yet see there it says on the on the screen here where you can go to get the latest version of the demo uh, this is the latest version and I hope you guys like check out this game well I'll tell you if it's worth it um, but it looks interesting enough to at least give a try apparently all the items you can get are completely randomized and so like if you uh okay so apparently the game can be super easy or super hard depending on what you get. Now, actually, I'm going to turn. Can I turn up brightness? Um, I have a, my screen's revolution resolution, but uh, oh, brightness level. Okay, let's make it a little bit. Oh God, whoa, way too bright. Um, brightness very high. Okay, so it shouldn't be uh, above 35. It says. I want it a little bit higher though. See, that's a little washed out, but I think I need it. Yeah, okay, no, it, it looks good here. Male warrior, okay. Yes, he should be. Okay, so it doesn't need to be a vampire. It can be a vampire or a. Damn, fear are half human, but not as strong and do not need to drink as much blood. There's some resistance. I think I want to be the half one, because I don't need as much. Doesn't look like I need as much. Um, what do I want to be? A criminal? Is that a crossbow? It's kind of a poorly made crossbow, but it's a crossbow. That's actually awesome. Um, warrior may be what I need. Ooh, a witch. Let's be a a warrior. Let's leave that, our attack and stuff, where it is. Oh, I don't think we can anyway. Can we increase our points? How much? Oh, let's name him Ben. 
How much can we add? Gotta be strong, but I think we also want to be smart. And oh yeah, we don't have great persuasion right off the bat. So I think we should level that up. Okay, there's the stat points. Um, looks good so far, guys. So let's create our character and jump into the game. Oh, okay, that was kind of freaky. For an independent indie game, this looks pretty well made. Wow. I mean, graphics are not on the top of the line, but they're pretty good, it looks like. I mean... Hmm. Ooh, birdie. Can I make it? Oh, I just skipped it. Okay, whatever. Let's just keep watching. I tried to start the start menu there. Cool camera angles here, guys. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it. Hmm. Ooh. That was freaky. There's like a face there. That that just kind of sent chills down my spine. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. It's a little spooky here. Bah! Fledgings are like young vampires, aren't they? Is that me? Tattoo shop? I wish there was higher character customization. That's something, if the developer's watching this, I would recommend you to do that. To customize the hair and stuff. I don't know if I could do that before. Maybe I just missed it, but higher customization is always a key in RPG games, from my experience. Bloodlust can be tricky for new players. Yes, it says it's always recommended to use tutorial mode, so we're going to do that. Zoom in with mouse wheel. Oh, okay, cool. Controls seem relatively easy. There's a tack. Sense a shadow spawn near. It looks like all we have is a flashlight. Are you good or bad, bro? Right click to talk. <laughs> okay, character models are strange. Is his mouth like shut? Oh, what's going on here? Oh god, okay. No, um, glitching. Oh god, okay. Intense glitching there, guys. So... How are you talking to me? You're not opening your mouth. I'm sorry, maybe I did this? Oh, so I was... made into a... This is annoying. Okay. So I, I've been turned into a vampire. Get to the point. Please show me on the map. Oh god, I meant to... So that was weird. Um... Oh god, look how much stamina that did for us. Press Z to toggle in between modes. Okay... Okay, so you can click on menus and stuff. Okay, F1 key to close. Okay, so we should look on the map. Wolf, zombie, shadow spawn. We want to talk to the girl first. Look on the map to... Do we want to go to the ruins? Um, how do we go to our journal? Did it say that? Maybe I missed that. I would guess J. It is J. Um. Okay. Well, um, okay, whatever. I guess we gotta say thanks. Where was that? Okay, so it's over here. Dead guy? You can bite and sire into your army. Try the biting bum. Try biting the bum, then come back when he is awake to issue orders. Got why there's some glitching here. How do you bite? Oh, wow, okay. 
a little glitchy there. Oh my gosh. Hey Walter. Walter's sleeping. Um, how do you switch modes? Is that F? No, um. God dang it. How do you. Z. Z. Okay, there we go. Drink to heal. So there's our different little things we can do right now. Um, you can sprint, it looks like. There's a breakable wall nearby. Wait, then. Get close to the mode, then move mouse over the wall and strike. Where at? Oh, this? This looks breakable. Oh, right click. Oh, hello. So let's see combat. Oh, God. Uh, very primitive combat, but... We were stunned there, and we killed him. Very much like a Morrowind, but let's zoom out. Oh, okay, we can zoom out a lot. We will take this fragment. Gave us some XP, it looks like. And the bird. Ooh, okay. <laughs> hmm. It's so slow talking. I like the music. It's very reminiscent of, um... God, what's that game like you made the castles and stronghold I don't know why it reminds me of that but it, it just does it's a little not to say it doesn't it doesn't fit this game but I it's just oh god okay who are you are you my friend Jester oh wait Walter should we go talk to Walter hey Walter bro you're a zombie bro now Can you just follow me? Why can't he control me? Oh, okay. Find loot, come here, attack and protect. Look for new blood. Stop wait find come here maybe? How do you open the sire tree? Can he follow me? Yeah, he's following me. He's a little, little. Oh, it regenerated. Okay. All right, we got some extra XP, I guess. We'll enter the ruins with a uh, Walter. Come here, Walter. Oh, we found a secret door. <gasps> There's the shop. Store open. You must be the new fledgling, huh? Character animation looks alright. But don't get any ideas about trading here. This is not some local grocery store, you know. This trade shop is set up strictly for excavators. The ruins through an agreement with my group's leader. Thank you. You can find a few blood wolves in the courtyard area. Come back when you have found some wolf fur, huh? Okay, so we're gonna help her find fur some experience and then I think we can trade with her so cool where's Walter at hiya Walter well you will attack and protect with me bro let's go kill some wolves okay we're lo using the lockpick to open it I bet there'll be a wolf in here oh it, it failed Oh god, we gotta, we have bad, we should stop this now. Ah, look at that. We found a little area. Optional area with strong enemies. Turn back now, um, it's okay, we're good guys. This game isn't really scary, the atmosphere is kind of, oh, of course I'd say that. A dark zombie. He's a little short fella. He can't hurt me. Except I'm stunned. Walter. Walter, attack. Oh, okay. He is attacking. He's just incredibly slow. Oh, pfft. That was relatively easy. 
Oh, hey, a dark zombie. God, that stunning is annoying. Get him, Walter. GG. Ooh, we got a new level. Cool. How do we, like, use our levels? Oh, Jesus. Please don't stun me. Killed him. This is an easy way to level up, guys. Gosh, this reminds me of old RPG games, which is kind of cool. It's kind of reminiscent. Ooh, creep. Oh, did it say the monster dropped something? How can we pick that up? Um, press E. We took it. New level. How do we use this, though? Do we click? Oh, we have points to spend. How do we spend them, though? Hmm. Oh, up here? Character, yes. Or skills. Um. We can. I don't know what we really want to bring up. We added a point to the lockpick skill. We now have two things available. Um, add a point to the bite skill. And we don't have enough rep for that, but we'll add another point to the bite, I guess seems to be what we want to do. Here's some more loot. Pants. Okay, we can... We got some new character things we can do. Oh, we have new step points. Um, we will use our... Charisma. I use them all in Charisma. Now, we got those pants. Ooh, is that under right inventory? Okay, so we can change clothes, I suppose. Uh, there's our lockpick gold, old necklace. Put that on. Oh, over there. Okay. Very much like, like I said, reminiscent of old RPGs, dungeon crawlers, that type of game. I'm not sure story-wise what it's going to provide. God, that stunning can be annoying. Uh, maybe the story will be interesting. Ooh, let's see if we can unlock this, guys. Oh, we did. Let's loot all. We got a sword use it. Sick, bro. Okay, there's our bum. We got boots. Okay, cool. So we got some new stuff here. We have a large sword, which we will... Oh, we need more strength. Oh, that's annoying. We can't use our book either. We are unable to understand it. Um, but we can put our boots on right now. That sword, how much? We need 20 strength. So I'll upgrade that more next time we get a chance. I think that was the main the main loot in here, guys. I thought I saw, like, red eyes over there. Oh, it must be just a glitch or something. Okay. Over here is... I don't know what... Where are you, zombie? Oh, hello. Enemies were not hard over here. I don't know what they're talking about. What did we get? Oh, we gained a new level again? Okay. <laughs> Strength is up to 20 now. We'll get our dexterity up. Yeah, that's good. So now we can equip our sword. Cool. A crossbow! Oh, yes, we already got a crossbow, guys. That is awesome. Okay, cool. Um, empty bottle. It is a little bit annoying to switch the... Well, no, I guess that's kind of how it is. Um, we only have one skill point. I don't really want to use it yet. How much rep do I have? I don't. I don't know what that. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, now we have a sword, which is kind of cool. Got a little better weapon, and we got some experience. We leveled up two times, so that's gonna help us. I'm not sure how long this dem something is triggered. Oh, okay, that was the thing before. Where are the wolves at? I remember seeing them. Oh, let's try this door over here. Unlock door interrupted. Oh, so you can't move. Let's hope we get it. Oh, we got one. Awesome. Oh, wall broken. Oh, jeez, hello. Oh, God, we can't fire as much with this. Are we poisoned? Our health is low. Oh, God. 
How can we tell our health? Sword doesn't seem like it's that good, even. Oh, dang. Our health is extremely low, guys. Let's finish him off! Either that was a really tough enemy, or... Oh, our health is that one in the bottom, the six. It regains automatically, luckily. Okay, I think we're good. Beware, do not go near him unless you have plenty of resistance to light. Sometimes a lever turns it off. Ooh, okay, we do not have that higher resistance of light. Can we... Oh, God, oh. Oh. I didn't save. Did it auto-save? Okay, hello. Alright, that was a little... Good, there are auto-saves. So... But dang, I just tried to get as close as I could. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. No, this is the normal area, Mr. Tutorial. That's where I came from. Um, what about over here? This is where the wolves are? You a wolf? No, you're a zombie. Okay, that was easy. That must have just been a really hard enemy, that elixir. Zombie, about to kill you. Oh, backstab? Well, I wonder if that's something like an attack we can use. We have to use vampires. Oh, what door is she talking about? Oh. Wait, what door is this? Oh, okay. So we need to then use vampires' gaze. Oh, I didn't do that right. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up, guys. So we just go like this, and then... No, we do this to hold it all the way open. Then we go... That's a little tricky. Did I... Did I do it? Oh, hello. No, I didn't do it. Okay. This is a little tricky, guys. Oh, okay, you can guide the little orb. Oh, god, oh no, okay. So, I go here. I go, wee, And then I did it. Am I here now? No. Maybe I have to... Like, left click. What am I supposed to do, guys? How do I... Do I press 3 again? I don't know what to do. Okay. So guide into orb and then... Oh, okay. I did the... It allowed me to to do the lever. God, these respawning... Respawning enemies is annoying. And I know it gives me something. So now this... Oh no, what? Oh, it's because I stepped on this. God dang it, Ben. What are you doing? So, boom! I did it! Yay! Finally. That was tricky enough. I'm going to try to disarm this trap. Place a knife into the chest. Okay... Oh, place a knife into the chest. I did it. Can I can I take it out now? Yeah. Awesome, guys. P 
here is is there a trap? Hmm. Oh, okay, this is a trap. We will disarm it though. Oh god, we're poisoned or something? Blocks must add up to seven. Okay. Oh god, we're we're stuck in here now. Okay, that's useless. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. This is a puzzle game. Is that like two, though? Oh, block set to one. Oh, what can we do? Three, two, and one. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Three, two, and two. Oh, wait. Oh, it can only... Yeah. We have that poison, though. Are we at three now? I'll just do one, and then... Let's try this again, guys. Three, two, and one. Which would be... Oh my god, what am I doing, Ben? Three, two, and one would not. Oh, wait. Can it only go up to two? Because that wouldn't work. Unless there's blocks on this side, which there is not. This is the fourth block, which there is not. Oh, wait, what? Okay, whatever. I don't know if their addition is wrong or if I'm a little bit tired, so... Either way, now the door is going to open. Oh, it was right. Yay. <clears throat> Disarming the trap here. Oh, I failed, but... Ooh, I get a big knife. So, we will... Let's equip some of our items that we've gotten recently. Um, it looks like we've got a larger knife. Can we have more than two? Can we have, like, two knives? We can. That's awesome. Um... Chest place we can't wear yet. We're not strong enough. Ooh, you can make potions. Okay, cool. Well, we'll leave this place now. That was a little fun exploration. I wonder how long this demo goes for. I mean, I'm kind of going off task here, but... Ooh, awesome. Gained a... Did I level up its head? Oh, I broke the base. We got an old weapon, it appears. I don't want to buy anything yet. Let's save up stuff. But here we can get their... What do we need dexterity up to? Like, something? Dexterity up to 50 and... Yeah, let's get vitality up. Looks like we've been playing for like 13 minutes. What do we need to get the chest plate? Strength, I thought. Okay, oh well. Unless we can back down stuff, which I don't think we can. No, we can't. Where are some wolves? Jump to ledge. Oh, what? Well, okay, um... That was a little funny, but okay. Let's hope we can disarm this trap. We couldn't. We can never seem to uh, do anything. Uh, where are those gloves? We can't even wear them. We need dexterity? Why? But okay, we have a bag of jewels. Now I've got a bag of jewels. You, a leech? Why are you so di Oh, it's difficult to hit. We can't crouch, can we? Oh, we can bring a character with the C. With C. Oh, okay. Hotkeys. Did we get... Come on, leech. We finally got it. Jeez. How does one get under here? Green roach. Well, let's see on the map. Where is a wolf? Okay, what? We're supposed to help her find fur. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I wish there was a mini-map. A little disappointed on that.
Again, I don't know how close this game is done to being actually produced, but hopefully it still has a ways to... not a ways, I said, hopefully it's got s some... hopefully you still gotta do some stuff, because there are some stuff I feel like they can add. Oh, hi.